Hello everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 and compare it against the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 and see which particular device is the better one for you. Now here's the thing, if you have all the money in the world, I would definitely say the Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 is going to be a way better iPad than the Tab A9. The Tab A9 is supposed to be like this cheap, you know, alternative, where the Tab S10 is supposed to be this really, really good type of device, right? So just keep that in mind. If you want to pick up either one of these, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these particular devices, the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 on the front has a 8.7 inch TFT LCD panel. It's really not that good of a panel. It doesn't get bright. Standard refresh rate, so 60 hertz. And it's an okay panel, you know, as of this point. It's not that great. And it's still like visibly like when you look at how like little bezel this thing has, it looks pretty good. But the panel itself just isn't that great. You're getting a front facing camera. And that's kind of all you're getting. The Tab S10 Plus, on the other hand, you're getting a much larger 12.4 inch dynamic AMOLED display. So this phone is giving you 120 hertz. It's 752p. It's a massive size resolution. It gets brighter. It's a dynamic AMOLED. Actually, it's like just a bit. It's a better panel in almost every single way. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you're wanting the better panel here in every single way you can imagine, it is the Tab S10 Plus. You're getting flat sides on both, but keep in mind that Tab A9 isn't really built the best. It's primarily built out of plastic, so it's not going to feel that expensive. You are getting USB Type C ports on both, though, which is nice to have, I guess. Flat sides on both. You're getting a, you know, a camera on the back of the Tab A9 as a single camera. Tab S10 Plus giving you a dual camera setup. You are getting S Pen support on the Tab S10 Plus, which is really cool. The Tab A9 doesn't have it. And I could probably think of every single way the Tab S10 Plus is going to be a way better device, right, from the exterior. The only thing is, it is a bigger device. So if you want a smaller one, then maybe the Tab A9 would be better for you. But even then, you can get a Tab S9, and that's a smaller one too. So from the front and the back sides, definitely the Tab S10 is better. When it comes down to the camera, this is really also not really much of a competition here. The Tab S10 Plus is giving you a dual camera setup, a 13 megapixel wide, and then an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera. With the Tab A9 is giving you an 8 megapixel camera on the back and a 2 megapixel camera on the front. So for starters, you can do 4K at 30 on the front and the back of the Tab S10 Plus, which really isn't even like that great, but it's way better than the Tab A9 with only doing 1080p at 30 on the back. So this is once again in and of itself a really, really big difference. Like if you're taking a look at which camera is going to be better, once again, in almost every single way, a phone like the Tab S10 Plus or a tablet like the Tab S10 Plus is going to be the one that's going to be the better one for you. So I look at those types of devices and those ones are definitely going to be far better than the Tab A9. So just kind of keep that in mind when it comes down to it as well. Now on top of that, when it comes down to software longevity, the Tab S10 Plus here is going to be a much longer lasting phone than the Tab A9. So once again, this is just kind of what ends up happening when you're looking at these types of devices. The Tab S10 Plus is going to be the one that's going to be lasting for not only longer, but it's also going to be the one that's probably going to be here for like twice as long as the Tab A9. I'm not really too sure how long a phone or tablet like the Tab A9 is going to last. I could probably say it's going to last for like another like couple of, you know, maybe like two years. I have no idea. The Tab S10 Plus is going to be here for so many years now, so you don't really have that much to worry about there when it comes down to that device. But when it comes down to the performance, this is also another very big asset for the Tab, you know, S10 Plus. The S10 Plus has that MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Plus chipset inside with 12 gigabytes of RAM, where the Tab A9 is giving you the MediaTek Helio G99 chipset with 4 or 8 gigabytes of RAM. So even the top tier model of the Tab A9 doesn't even come close to something like the Tab S10 Plus. The Tab S10 Plus is one of those devices that when you look at, it's going to be such a solid looking device. I really, really like that type of device just because it looks amazing. And that's something I love a lot. With something like the Tab A9, this is a tablet that's supposed to be geared towards the budget you know, tiered mindset. So it's not supposed to be like this device that's going to be this like super great performing tablet for the price tag. That's more like a used main series Tab S device. Really, you're looking at these types of devices as being pretty basic, you know, budget tier devices that aren't really going to be great performing tablets by any means. They can get the job done for the most part, but they're not going to be doing anything like super insane that I can tell. So overall, what I'll definitely tell you is, is that when it comes down to these types of devices, the Tab S10 Plus is a way better device than the Tab A9. The Tab A9 is okay and everything, but definitely in almost every single way you can imagine, the Tab S10 Plus is way better, and I would highly recommend buying that device over the Tab S10 Plus, or the Tab S10 Plus over the Tab A9 any day of the week. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there too. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.